So friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how to get all the broken connections in Power Automate in Power Platform. In Power Automate, you must be aware that if any flow is not triggered since last 90 days, it will get uh, turned off. The connections needs to be re-authenticated and for that process you have to do it manually as of now there is no process through which we can automate this process of re-authenticating the connections automatically so for example if i have uh, you know deployed any of my project in the production environment which consists of power apps power automate and other stuff as well now that particular flow or any of the flow in that particular project has not been triggered since last 90 days so the connections will get broken and if the connections is broken, whenever that flow will get triggered again, it won't be able to execute successfully. So, how we can uh, overcome such kind of scenarios? Usually what happens in this kind of scenario, whenever this problem occurs, stakeholders will reach out to the managers that there is an issue and production issue and team will look into it. And then they will come to know this is a uh, broken connections. But uh, what we can do instead of stakeholder reaching out to the team, what we can do, we can create one power automate, we can schedule it, which will daily run, which will generate a report of all the broken connections. And before the stakeholder of any other or any of the product owner reaches out to the team, team can go and fix that connection manually because we have to re-authenticate them. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to create a power automate, which will give you all the broken connections in your entire environment. So that is the gist of what we are going to do today. So let's get started. I will move on to my uh, environment. This is my environment and over here, I will create a new power automate flow from scratch. In the interest of time and just to keep it simple, I will create a manual flow. But if you are creating this flow in your real time project, you should create a scheduled flow and based on your requirement, you can schedule it. So I'll say manually trigger a flow. I have not named it, so I can name it over here. I'll say demo broken connections. So this is the name of my flow. Next, what I have to do, I need to get all the connections in my environment for that. So here I will search the power automate category and inside power automate I should find all the actions related to power automate. I will just expand this one and from here I will select this one power automate management, power automate for admins. For now I will select power automate management and here you will see all the actions related to power automate management say cancel flow, create connection. So here, from here I will say I will select one of the action called list my connections inside so all the connections which are created by me okay in this particular environment it will keep so what will happen in your case what you can do if you have used any of the service account or your uh, multiple service account so you can uh, through that service account you can create this flow and i'll say list my connections okay. now here i will select the environment environment i will select the stack mirror the, now all the connections where i am the owner it will list inside this particular environment so once i'll get the connection as a next step what i have to do i have to filter the connections because now let me show you what it will give first of all so just to showcase you first of all i will use one compose action and i will say value so inside this list my connections, I have connection name, display name, ID, everything I have, I will put value over here and I will say save. Now first I will run this flow. Now this will give me an array. Inside that array, I have all the, uh, it, this will list all the connections where I am the owner along with the status if there is any error. Then what we will do, we will filter this particular array where, you know, status is not active and then we will send out that report so i'll quickly test it i'll say manually continue run flow done okay so now here you can see see this is the output which i'm getting now this is the name of the connection this is the id type or i'll do i'll just copy and 
put it in the notepad here. Now here we can see few properties. Now this is complete array. I have got the name, ID, type, inside properties, app ID, display name, like this is for appro approval, status. So this is one of the important property. Under statuses, we have status, connection parameters, keyword. All these are the details in which environment this is, allow sharing, everything. Now what we have to do, we have to filter this entire array where status is not connected. If it is connected, that means it is working fine. If it is not connected, we will get out that particular item and we can share it over an email. So next is how to filter this particular array. For that, what I will do, I will use this select action. I will say select under data operation. I will get the select. Now select uh, as a source, I will give this particular the output from my previous uh, action the output from the output from my previous step I will give it so now value I have passed and now I have to see what all properties I'm looking for so I am looking for display name status and here you know what I have done just in the interest of time I have created this entire object along with this uh, expression which I can use so let's go step by step first of all I need display name I will explain you this particular expression also and how we can use it so first I need display name so here I'll say display name and then enter value so if I go over here under list my connections I have connected display name now if I use directly uh, this particular property, now let's see what output we are getting. If we are getting the right output or not. Quickly test it, run flow. See. So now we are getting the output from here. If I again go back, display name, approval, Azure Blob Storage, these are all the name of all the connections which are present in my this particular array. So if you will see, if I just scroll, scroll it further down, here I have this Azure Blob Storage. So instead of using this expression, there are two ways. Either I can use this expression or I can use the directly the property from the Power Automate. So this is done. Next, what I want is display name. After display name, what I want is I need status. So I say status. So here I will say status. I will just scroll, scroll it further down. So status, connection name, display name, connector ID, created time, properties. I do not have this status over here. So what I will do in this case, I have to use the expression. So for status, if I go again back to this particular object or array, what you can see, this is item. Inside item, I have properties and inside properties, I have status and then I have statuses and then higher status. So what I have to do is I have to use this, this particular expression. And I'll explain you how this will work. So I'll go back. I'll say I'll put the expression here, and I'll say Control V. So what item represent? Item represent the current object. Then under item, we are accessing properties. Under properties, status again. Status is an array, and we need the first item. So item properties. Sorry, my bad. I think I've copied the wrong one. Yes, I have to copy this one. property status is first item and status and this is done so i'll just again control x remove it from here and paste it here missing something yeah so this is done now i've got the display name status and similarly i'll get the other properties as well next is code for code again i'll copy the same thing now this is relatively similar what uh, you know how we are getting the other two properties i'll go to the expressions here i will paste it now to explain you inside items we have properties inside properties we have status then error and then code if you will see here this is the item is the current object then properties status then under status we have if we'll scroll it down further for few of them we have 
so in this particular object now all of my connections are active but i will show you in the one where you know we have got some error here this will give us uh, code and the error message so that's where i am fetching it from there so error code is done and next again i'll get it is message what is the error message now i will directly copy paste this particular expression And I will, you can get all these expressions from the description box below as well. You can directly use them in your code. And finally, I am using name. So, based on your requirement, you can further dig down into this particular array and you can get any other property if you want. For example, name is the first one, it is not residing inside the property. So, directly item and name I have used. I have to go to expression and so this object is ready now. So now my uh, select is ready. Now from this select what I will do, this, this will give me an array. Select will give me an array and now what I will do, I will simply filter an array. So here what I will do, I will say filter. Data operation filter array. And I will take the output from the select. And what I have to do is, I will just go to ad advanced mode and here. I will select this particular one where it says item status should not be equal to connected. So I'll say I'll put here this ex particular expression and it in basic mode. See, status is not equal to connected. So this is what I'm doing. And now in compose, inside compose, instead I will change this because this was the output of list my connections. I'll take the output from the filter array. I'll say body and this is also done. Now quickly try and uh, run this and let's see what is the output we are getting. Flow ran successfully. So list my connection. It gives me all the connections which are where I am the owner and in this particular environment DS Tech Mirror. Then I have used this select. What select is doing, it is now from this particular complex object, select is giving me a simple array. See, display name, status, code is null, there is no value, message is null, and name. For each and every connection, I'm getting this thing. Then filter array, I have done and I've got this thing. So I think it's not working because it is giving me as it is, it is not uh, filtering it. We will see what is the issue. And then inside the compose also. We are getting everything. So the only thing which I have to check is this should not return me anything because over here there is no connection where status is not connected. But now before we move forward, what I'll do, I'll move to another environment where I have few connections which are not active or which are not connected. So I'll go from here. I'll say go to this particular environment, Sharma 06. I'll save. This is my default environment and test automatically recently used trigger yeah and now let's see the result okay first of all if i expand this thing now in this particular object if i take it as it is copy from here go to my notepad and paste it over here move everything now here let's see this is connected Let's see if any connection is having an, some error over here. Over here you will see status is error. So wherever there is an error, you will see this error. Then code unauthorized and there is a message. Fail to refresh access token for service. So this is what, you know, I have added in the array, which, you know, we can be sending as a report to uh, over an email. So along with status, I'm sending the error message and the code as well. What is the code? So now let's see the select. Select is fine. Filter array. What filter array is giving? So filter array is not working. It is giving us all the data. Let's see what is the issue. And then I think we should be good. Filter status is not equal to connected. It should work. Let's see. Guys, uh, what could be the error? If I click on advanced mode over here, you could see there is, we have this white space. I think this get rid of this white space. I did it in basic mode and let's try again. Test, run flow, 
this time I will directly go to the compose action and if you see yes it is giving us only the connections now which have got the error I will again copy it from here and I will paste it here I will say yes and if you will see I will just scroll to the top all the you know data over here belongs to the connections which are broken status error unauthorized failed to refresh access token failed to see all of them are belong to into the same category now what now what we can do the easiest thing would be just to send this data we have to do some html formatting over this particular array and send it over to, uh, to you know over to an email to the uh, service account or to at the admins or the concerned person you can send this data daily and they can see okay these are the connections which are you know are having issues they can work on it or they can re-authenticate them to find this connection they can use this display name in my case because i am getting this data from the default environment so the proper naming convention is not there but if your project is in production environment for each connection display name would be having certain naming convention and it would be easy to find because if uh, you will go over here make.powerapps.com simply what you have to do you have to go to the connections and here you will get all these are the display name so if you will see this is one of the connections as your blob storage so with the help of the uh, display name you can search the connection and if there is any error you can work on it see this is my ds techvira environment all the connections are connected and if i go to the this particular environment see all these are the broken connections so with the help of display name i can find i can click on them reconnect and you know the flow or your project in your production environment or any or in any of the your projects in any of the environment you know will not face this particular issue so guys that's it for today's video so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our coming videos till then much love keep learning thank you